Good morning everyone, I'm TJ and today I will talk about model reduction in FEDEM. FEDEM is a nonlinear finite element program for a mechanism simulation and we are using a model reduction technique to speed up the simulation. Um, you will learn how component mode synthesis works and you will learn that uh, the rigid body modes uh, are embedded and not eliminated from the static modes in FEDEM that makes FEDEM quite unique compared to most rigid body based um, mechanism simulation systems. Uh, the flexibility is usually well represented by the static modes even if no component dynamic modes are used. These modes are the fixed interface normal modes. And you see that the internal degrees of freedom which are eliminated uh, due to the model reduction is calculated uh, after the dynamic simulation based on the uh, displacements in the external nodes or super nodes um, superimposed with the contributions from the uh, component modes uh, which are those and they are multiplied with the modal participation factors or amplitudes and R, E and Q are calculated during the dynamic simulation. Before running any type of mechanism analysis in FEDEM, the FE models must be pre-processed. And uh, FEDEM is using a Craig Bampton model reduction technique uh, to speed up the simulations. Uh, CMS uh, is combining static and component modes to calculate the internal uh, displacements. And here you see the external displacements and the modal participation factors which are calculated during the dynamic simulation uh, and uh, then they are expanded uh, to predict the internal displacements and the externals are given. When all triads or super nodes are identifi identified for a link in FEDEM uh, you can do the model reduction or actually the FEDEM software is doing it for you. Uh, what happens then is that all internal forces are assumed to be zero and you perform or FEDEM performs a traditional static model reduction which gives you the influence matrix B. And the columns of the influence matrix are actually the static modes that you are using to calculate the internal displacements when the external displacements are known from the dynamic simulation. In this small example we see that we have initially uh, 630 degrees of freedom, that means uh, unknowns or equations. And after the static model reduction, uh, when we are using only four triads, we have four times six, we have 24 external displacements stored in the RE vector, which is a major uh, reduction in models and model size and computation time. Based on the static modes, you are usually able to calculate the internal displacements quite accurately. Ha however, uh, sometimes when you have uh, dynamic loads which coincides with the component modes, um, then you have to include dynamic modes. And in FEDEM, you can calculate the fixed interface normal modes and include them in the simulation. Um, here you see uh, this simple model and uh, you can see that there are four triads and uh, 24 external degrees of freedom. But then you can ask FEDEM to uh, calculate a given number of component modes, fixed interface normal modes. And here we can see the first one. You see that the, uh, the mode shape represents clamped corner nodes or triads and that's why uh, it's called fixed interface normal mode and this, th this was the first one. Uh, this means that uh, after a dynamic simulation uh, you, you will have the access to the RE vector which are the external displacements for all triads in the complete mechanism model and then uh, you use uh, the external displacements and the influence matrices to calculate all internal degrees of freedom in FEDEM. Uh, and you use that one in order to calculate strains and stresses. Uh, if you include the uh, fixed interface normal modes, you will calculate the modal participation factors or amplitudes, which are multiplied with the component mode shapes. 
and those are superimposed on the contributions from the external nodes and that gives you an even better estimate of the internal degrees of freedom or displacements. Let's have a look at how it works in FEDEM. This is my FE model and as you can see I have four triads, uh, that means four super nodes, which give me a total of 24 external degrees of freedom and 24 um, static modes. And remember, those static modes are capturing the rigid body motion in the FEDEM model. And if this is sufficient to get an accurate distribution of internal displacements and stresses, I'm fine. I can just use the static model reduction. But in this example, I've chosen to include three component modes. And let's have a look at those component modes. I can animate them. I can load uh, component mode number one and as you can see it's the fixed interface normal mode and this mode has an eigenfrequency frequency of 84 Hertz and I should include this component mode if I have an uh, input load acting in uh, this frequency range I can take a look on the next one since I included three modes this is the second fixed interface normal mode. It has an eigenfrequency of 244 Hz. So the question again is, do I have loads acting in this frequency range? If yes, I must include this mode as well. Then have a look at the last one. It's a torsional mode. And um, well, it has an eigenfrequency of 317 Hz. And again, you have to ask if it's if you need this one in order to capture the distribution of strains and stresses in this structure. So if I choose to include these three component modes, I have a total of 24 static modes plus three component modes, which give me a total of 27 degrees of freedom to solve on system level, compared to the original size, which was 640 uh, or at 630 degrees of freedom, which uh, represents a dramatic reduction in model size and computation time. Thanks for watching.